A new lawsuit accuses more than two dozen popular wine producers in California of selling wine containing arsenic well above the levels that are considered safe by the standard used for drinking water. Dr. David Samadi is the chair of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital, a professor of urology at Hofstra North Shore LIJ School of Medicine, and a member of the Fox News Medical 18. Thanks for joining Good us. Good to see you. So the standard for drinking water is 10 parts per billion, but hopefully you drink a lot less wine than water. The U.S. doesn't have a standard for wine, but Canada, for comparison, their standard for wine is 100 ppbs. None of these exceeded that. They just exceeded the 10 ppbs for water that we have here. How dangerous is this? Well, we've got so many emails and phone calls. Should I be worried about my wine? And over the years, we talked about all the benefits of antioxidants in red wine. So I don't want to change any opinion. This is an investigation that's going on. The lawsuit just went in effect in California. They looked at about 1,300 bottles, and about 83 of them had more arsenic in the bottles, as you mentioned. Are they dangerous? We don't know yet because there's really no good standard as we speak. Now, over time, the accumulation may affect you. The people who are getting arsenic in water, food, rice, all, it's all over us, and it could be toxic, but unless you're drinking a bottle of red wine every day, this is not going to really, in my opinion, affect you. So I would not really panic. We're going to put the list of all the bottles of alcohol on this blog, samadimd.com, for people who want to know which bottle. It just happens that most of them are cheap bottles of wine. So if you want to drink red wine, my advice, invest in your wine. But at this point, it's not really a big problem. As you said, in Canada, the level of arsenic in the bottles are much more than this. The, right. the bigger question is, do we really need arsenic in our bottles of wine? Why is there? Right. Until we have a real standard, I think this is going to be a big debate. But yeah. I wouldn't panic at this point. Right. But again, if you want to look up your wine, samadimd.com. And moving on now to another health matter, 62,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with kidney cancer each year. 14,000 of them die from the disease. And right now, there is no good screening to detect the cancer early, but a new study shows that a urine test could change that sometime soon. So, Dr. Samadhi, if it's diagnosed late after the tumor has spread, 80% of patients are going to die within five years. How significant is this? It is very significant. We like this study very much. And I think that if we, instead of CAT scans and MRIs, which is used to diagnose kidney cancer, if we have a magic urine test, which in this particular case, you give a urine specimen, they look for two proteins, and with 95% accuracy, they can say whether you have kidney cancer or not. This is a game changer. We need more studies and longer uh, uh, period of study for this. 700 patients underwent 95%. And this is the, my field of kidney cancer and prostate cancer. We're coming up with better screening tests for this kind of cancers. I think this is going to be really very significant. It's coming from Washington University, and we're excited about Huge. this. Huge. Can't wait to see whether that can get implemented fast. Screening helps and right. can save lives. So I think this is very exciting. All right, Dr. David Samadhi, thank you so much for the Fox Medical A-Team.